Okay. So the, I'm fascinated with this own your own story and identify your core purpose. Can you just give us some highlights of how, because I know a lot of people have no clue how to define what their core purpose is. So wh- what are the steps? What should they be doing? Yeah. And I have come to think of this as, as an incredibly, not just powerful, but also really nuanced uh, activity. And, uh, but I'll start with the less nuanced part of it, but because I think that's where anyone has to start. And that is uh, owning the idea that we have something that is unique to each of us that is not connected yet to our company or our organization or whatever it is that we're doing, but is work that we have to do to connect to our own core purpose. And I use this exercise that Toyota actually uh, developed for their manufacturing techniques to drill down into the root cause of deficiencies. And that is the five whys. And, you know, I came around to this because I was, I was familiar with the process, but uh, from the man, on the manufacturing side, which seems like it would have very little relevance to what we're talking about here in, in our human side. Um, but I've always heard of this starting with why. And I thought, yeah, starting with why is fine, but it doesn't go nearly far enough. And how do we take that and really drill down from the superficial level down into a place where it really matters? Um, and the example that I like to give, you know, I was, when I first arrived at Fort Bragg and I, we told that first part of that story a little bit earlier, is I was assigned not to a platoon, which is what every young lieutenant both desires and needs to be able to both learn and improve their ability to lead, uh, but instead to a staff position as the assistant to the assistant operations officer, sort of the staff lackey in the back office, typing up, you know, I was typing up the, the appendices to operations orders, not even the operations orders themselves. And if I had just asked myself why, like, why am I here? It took a year to get out of that position. Why am I here? I would have said, well, I'm here to to fly the Apache helicopter, to be an aviation leader. And that's really a much more superficial level because at the end of the day, I didn't have any control over what it was that I was doing in that position, how that shop was run, what my trajectory was going to be over the next couple of years in a very direct way. Um, So I had to really work to drill down to what my core purpose was. And so why I was there to, to fly the Apache helicopter, why I was trained to do so. Why? Because I'd asked for and I'd earned that opportunity. Why? Because I wanted to serve my country. Well, that's pretty good, right? But you have to force yourself to go to the deepest possible level, like the, the, the least common denominator, right? Uh, why did I want to serve my country? Because I needed to serve. My core purpose that was relevant to that time was service. And that was something that was agnostic from the military, really. I'd grown up, you know, working at the, the food kitchen in our church to bring meals to people that needed it and visiting retirement homes with my mother. So that concept of service was very, very strong in how I was made up and, and still am made up. And so that was the place that I had to connect to be able to get through a time when I didn't have control over the circumstance. And I was really, really frustrated. Asking why just once wouldn't have gone nearly har- far enough. So that core purpose It's like the heart purpose, right? It belongs to you. It doesn't mean that nobody else has the same purpose, but this belongs to you alone. And then you do the work to connect that core purpose to the mission of the organization in a meaningful way. 